So I wanted to make one last video because I think I want to come back to this channel to make videos. I missed it. And Wizard of the Coast, let's be honest, Wizard of the Coast and the Magic player base have done incredibly stupid things. One of the most stupid things would be to ban Jewel Lotus from Commander. So if you own a Jewel Lotus, you know that it was the chase card of Commander Master. In fact, I'm going to show you there is no other card above $50. And all four editions of Jewel Lotus were way above $50. So when people were opening the product, when people were trying to get the hit, there was only one card that could justify paying $200, $300 a collector's booster box. And that was the Jewel Lotus. That card has since basically dropped off a cliff. Um, obviously, it can only be played in Commander. It specifically says Commander in its text. So this isn't like, you know, um, how, how should I say this? this? This isn't a card. This is a card created for Commander. It was created to be overpowered so people would buy Commander Master. Again, Commander in its name. Like, I mean, how many times do you need to know? So in my opinion, the dark side thing, the other banning, Mana Crypt is a little bit more weird because they have used Mana Crypt to promote various products. So as the chase card, you could get a Mana Crypt. And so Jewel Lotus, if you look at this product, right? Outside of cases, Jewel Lotus 1, Jewel Lotus 2, Jewel Lo Lotus 3. There's only, are there four of them? I thought there was four of them. But then the next card is $50. So why are you going to buy a booster box? Why are you going to buy a collector's edition? Why are you going to buy uh, a draft box it's because you want to everything else i can tell you um, even below the 50 dollars is almost nothing so this is the big card if you hit the card and it's uh various formats you pretty much break even on your body it's your either Joel lotus or bust so what they did was they sold a lot of this card uh what i mean they sold a lot of it they did sell a lot of it they sold a lot of the card by they sold a lot of the card they, by selling a lot of boxes people were ripping boxes hoping that they get their one jewel lotus for their commander some people have multiples i have multiple mana crypts i have multiple dock side things since i opened a lot of double masters again dock side was one of the chase hits and double masters mana crypt was one of the chase hits and many we're going to take a look at mana crypt so in many ways i would say it's they're, they're both both very bad um uh, I, I don't know which is worse than which, but they're both very, very bad. And when you talk about you know something like this, this is the chase hit. This this used to be a nine hundred dollar card, eight hundred dollar card, something like that. And now it's basically cannot be played in the format that it was designed to be played in. Now, do I think Jewel Lotus is overpowered? Yes, but then why make a card so overpowered that you eventually have to ban it after you're done selling it? Mana Crypt, in many, in many ways, Jewel Lotus, because it's a single card in a set that is otherwise worthless. Uh, you know, there's no card above $50 in that set. Uh, this is the card you want to hit. And now you cannot, now if you hit it, so if you're sitting on Commander Legends, you're kind of screwed. Because now you hit it, the price is not what it used to be. And the liquidity of it, no one wants it anymore. We don't even know what the eventual price will be because we don't know. People were grading this card. They were treating it as a Black Lotus of some type, right? There's an eBay listing for, I think, $3,000 for like a PSA 10 or something like that. But you can see that even now, the Jewel Lotus is still, still the most valuable card in the set by a large margin. The Borderless, the foil then the etched foil i don't know where the regular one is i assume there is a regular one but it's below the textured foils right and so on the foil etched and the foil etched and the etched but you look at this product the only way they could sell it is if they had the jewel lotus now let's take a look at another product uh i have the mana crypt invention it has lost basically half its value overnight uh even by listing it was 550 now you can buy a copy for under 500 dollars uh, the mana lich, the judge promo was going to take a hit. Uh, the, I don't know where this is from. It says like special guest. Do you guys know what that's from? 
what is special guest? So I, I tried to figure that out, but you can see that they printed it in Double Master, so God forbid I have a few copies of that. Probably Eternal Masters, I have a few copies of that. The list, yeah, so it's Double Masters, Eternal Masters, Special Guest, I'm not sure what that is. The Double Masters board list, uh, the Manor, the Media Promo, like everyone has this card. Jewel Lotus, I would say most people have it. Uh, I would say everyone has Mana Crypt just because there's so many different variants of it and it's been reprinted so many damn times. This card was buy listing for $550, $600 in Card Kingdom the other day. And, you know, the buy list is now going to be like 200 It's savage what they do with the cards prices. And in fact, Soul Ring was very low compared to this card, but Soul Ring's gone up a little bit. This is just Magic the Gathering in a nutshell. They make a really strong product like Jewel Lotus or Mana, or they reprint a product like Mana Crib. They sell a bunch of booster boxes, and when it comes time to move on, they already sold it to the customer. It's time to move on. That's why I would say don't buy, invest in non reserve. Like, it's just not going to work. Even like in invocations and inventions, or even these, like, you know, whatever the special guest things are. There's not going to work, man. The texture foil, I mean, it's not going to work long term because they're either going to reprint it or just straight up ban it. Now you might say they may ban reserve list. That is correct. They might ban uh, dual lands one day because they think it's too powerful. I think that, that could happen. But uh, at least they didn't reprint them. So when you're talking about these cards, you're dealing with two. So this is special guest. Also a set where you're basically mana crypt or bust. Okay, this is special guest. Um, really weird, you know, really weird set. I don't know where it came from. But uh, yeah, it's mana crypt or bust in that set too. Everything else is like $20. Mana crypt is over 100 even now. Probably not soon, but there you go.